Ethereum is set to undergo a major upgrade scheduled for March this year. This is a long waited one because one of the biggest issue with Ethereum right now is that when you're staking as a validator, there's no way you can take your money out. This will mean validators can finally withdraw the Ether out of the beacon chain. And this is also one of the reasons why liquidity staking tokens were pumping so much. However, this does cause concern to certain people because if all of a sudden all these Ether being unstick, does it mean all these people will dump on the market and crash the price of Ether? So in this video, let us look deeper into the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade and what do you have to do as an investors. If you like this type of content, where well, just go straight to point without any BS, make sure you smash up the like button and subscribe for more. The Shanghai upgrade will include code EIP4895 that will allow withdrawals of Ether which is something missing in the whole Ethereum network right now. When that happens, it will provide an opportunity for all these liquidity staking tokens to grow. But first of all, what are those? Liquid staking derivatives are a type of derivative contract that allows users to stake their assets in order to receive a return on the investment. These derivatives are designed to be liquid, meaning that users can retain liquidity of their tokens even though they are locked in the blockchain. As such, users can easily enter or exit the contract without having to wait for a long period of time. This makes them attractive to investors who are looking for ways to earn a return on the asset without having to lock it up for a long period of time. It is popular in DeFi because these derivative tokens can be used elsewhere to generate extra yield. Investors can use stake assets in the ecosystem for lending, for trading and as collateral, hence lowering opportunity costs of locking assets up for staking. But how does the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade pump up all these liquidity staking tokens then? Despite Ethereum being the leading proof of stake blockchain, it only has a staking ratio of 14%. Now, that is extremely low, especially when you compare it to other layer 1 blockchains like Cardano, BNB, and Solana. This is mainly due to the entry barrier for staking. Since ETH is pool, not everyone has 32 ETH to be a validator. This is where all these liquid staking protocols come in, like Lido, Rocket, pool anchor protocol because of all these liquid staking services you don't need to come up with 32 ETH in order to run a validator node now the shanghai upgrade is designed to significantly reduce the risk and opportunity costs for validators to stake their ETH as a minimum duration for staking will fall to just 27 hours as a result Ethereum staking ratio should reach parity with other leading blockchains after the update. This will also provide market opportunities for growth of liquidity staking protocols. And that is also one of the reasons why I'm quite bullish on these liquidity staking tokens. That being said, I do need to address the concerns of this Shanghai upgrade. Publics are worried that if all these ETH being unstaked at the same time, it will cause an even bigger crash for the Ethereum price. Personally, I'm not too worried because if you think about it, the people who are staking right now and running the validator nodes, they are OG of the market. They actually understand how Ethereum works and actually understand the potential of Ethereum. Those people who are currently staking on Ethereum probably in it for the long haul and they probably know how the market works. I'm sure experienced investors probably wouldn't want to sell at the bottom as we are in a crypto winter right now. My only concern for the Ethereum network is definitely centralization because Ethereum staking is undoubtedly more centralized than mining. So I guess only time will tell if Vitalik managed to solve this problem. Well, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you guys prefer proof of work as the model of Ethereum or you prefer the proof of stake model tell me everything in the comment section below in the meanwhile if you also want more regular updates from me make sure you follow me on instagram tiktok and twitter and i'll see you guys in the next one